So, buddy, I had uh, recorded this video in English a few minutes back. Uh, one of our friend, uh, Dr. Aman Prajapati, he wanted to understand this topic. Now, this topic uh, is duodenal stump blowout syndrome. He did read it, but then he could not understand it. So, I thought let's make a small video to help him uh, understand it better. Right. Now, see, buddy, just have a look at image number one. That's normal image, normal anatomy. You see G, G gastric. That means the black color shaded part is stomach. The green colored shaded part is bile duct. You know, the bile duct, it opens in the second part of duodenum, right? Second part of duodenum, which is retroperitoneal, right? Now, the blue colored thing which I have shaded here is duodenum and the red colored thing is jejunum. Now, buddies, let's say you remove this much part of the stomach, the part which I have shaded blue. That is, you perform distal gastrectomy. Let us perform it right in front of you. See here, you remove this much part of the stomach. Okay. Now, you remove this much part of the stomach like this. Okay. Now, here what you will do is you will apply sutures. You will apply sutures to the stump of duodenum. See, buddies, you have applied sutures. You have applied sutures, right? Now, this is the final result. What you will do is you will join stomach with jejunum. You will join stomach with jejunum. Now, how will the anatomy, how will the physiology work now? Your patient will eat some food. The food will enter the stomach and then it will enter the jejunum directly. The bile will enter the duodenum from the bile duct and it will mix up with the food over here, right? Now, if the bile goes forward, that means toward the jejunum, everything is normal. But let's say there is obstruction to the flow of bile due to poor technique maybe, right? Now, what will happen in that case? See, buddies, here, let me just zoom it up a bit. Yeah. Now, suppose the bile does not go forward. It will keep on accumulating in the duodenum. And at one point, the pressure inside the duodenum will be so high that duodenum will rupture. Where will it rupture? Where you have applied the sutures and the bile will start leaking out. Bile will start leaking out. See, buddies, the bile will start collecting around the duodenum. Remember, this bile has got digestive enzymes. It will not allow the tissue to heal properly. It will not allow the tissue to heal properly. Right? Now, repeat suturing is not possible because edema and the digestion of tissue by bile will make the tissue very, very fragile. You will not be able to apply the sutures. So, what is the solution? What is the treatment? Simple treatment is to place a drain. See, buddies, that's the skin of the patient. You'll give a cut in the skin and through this cut, you will insert a tube that is called drain. That drain will go directly inside the duodenum. You'll give a cut in the duodenum and the drain will go inside the duodenum. Now, what will this drain do? This drain, what it will do is it will remove all the bile, the yellow colored line. It is going to remove all the bile. So, all the bile will come out. So, slowly, slowly, the wound healing will start at the duodenal stump. You keep this for a week or 10 days and the healing will occur, right? Then you can remove this tube. See here. This one and two, the two different methods. One is you insert drain through the skin, give a cut in the skin, insert a drain directly through the stump. Fine. It will remove all the bile out. You will insert a second drain that will remove all the bile which has leaked out. The second way is you insert a drain. What is that drain here? tube you insert it into the duodenum now that will also function in the same way it will remove the bile and it will allow the healing to occur now the inquisitive minds may be wondering that how did the duodenal stump blowout occurred in the first place see the image a that's the surgery done by a good surgeon with a good technique there is no obstruction to the flow of bile. The bile flow is smooth. 
But let's say the surgery is not done with good technique as you can see in the image B. Now what will happen? There will be kinking, there will be bending, there will be edema, there will be scarring. All of these can block the flow of bile. So bile will not flow. What will happen? If the bile does not flow, bile will keep on accumulating in the duodenum and one day it will rupture. The sutures which you applied will rupture and the bile will start flowing out. That is duodenal stump blowout syndrome, right? If you have got any further queries, please don't hesitate to ask me to make a video on it, right? All the best. Happy studying.